In most parts of Uganda, when a person dies, the family holds a vigil and mourning can go for at least a day or two before the deceased is buried on any day of the week. However, the former Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Daudi Mijereko, thinks that this practice leads to a lot of productive time being wasted and he would like Parliament to pass a law that prohibits burials during weekdays. I thought we needed to agree on a, an arrangement that would enable us to attend to our work so that we are not dismissed from, our, our, uh, from our, the jobs that uh, we had been given while at the same time we'll be able to undertake uh, the social responsibility of uh, burying our dead persons. In order to have burials held only on weekends, people would have to access the embalming and body preservation facilities like mortuaries and funeral homes. This is far from the case in Uganda. However, some critics say that even if the law is passed, it might not augur well with people, especially those who do not earn much, like the peasants in the village, where after losing a person, they have to incur costs to transport the bodies to the mocks. And how many mocks will government set up in order to be accessed by people, especially those who live in the hard rich areas? Some members of our community may not be able to afford the fees. Then it's incumbent upon the leadership in the country, the leadership in the districts to put emphasis on uh, developing mortuaries, establishing mortuaries that can take care of uh, bodies uh, for, quite, for quite some time as people uh, wait for the weekends. In neighboring Kenya, it's a widely accepted practice to hold burials only on weekends. However, in Uganda it might be an uphill battle to have Mijereko's proposal implemented. Particular opposition to such a proposal is likely to come from the Muslim community who believe that a person should be buried on the same day one dies, as long as the sun has not set. A number of people interviewed had different opinions on the issue. Yeah, the law is not necessary. Mm. People should bury their dead whenever they want to bury their dead. Mm. Yes. Why? Because it's their personal business. It's not, it's not government business. Have time and it's not busy. Let him go and bury his, 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 dead, his dead person. Very low resources, and if such a law is really in place, I don't think enforcement of the law is something we can achieve. If someone lives in Ixoro, uh, dies from Ixoro, and you've got people have to wait until the weekend to bury that person. We don't have. Uh, a well-established infrastructure to handle it. Actually, as we talk now, it's only Mulago that can treat and keep a body for a number of days. For now, it remains unlikely the proposal will be coming to the House anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.